Hey Aquarius, what's up? I'm back with another reading. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your placements. And if you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. All right? Let's see. I think you've been putting in a lot of effort, a lot of work. You know, you're 120% into a connection out here. This person is someone here who did not put in that effort, okay? You were the one who was more committed in this connection, trying to put in all your hard work, like I said. You wanted to build into something more stable, something more um, secure. You were ready to work on this connection with this person, you know? All you wanted was just an equal give and take, a balanced situation here. The person you're dealing with somewhat seems to be like a coward out here. Coward in a way... Um, where I feel this person is someone, you know, who runs away from their emotions, okay? Someone who runs away from emotional vulnerability is what I'd say. This person, is, they could have tried to walk away from you, okay? They could have tried to detach and walk away, but they were not successful. This person's coming back. They can't find the emotional strength to walk away from you. They're too emotionally invested with you. I think this person could have had a bad past, you know, because of which this person is, you know, so in and out of your life. So the moment they think they, they think of walking away from you, but then, you know, they stop, they look back and they're like, no, I can't do that. You know, I need to go back. So then they come back. So I think there could be some cycles here between you both. Okay. But um, even when you could have been in this relationship with this person, this connection, you would always find this person emotionally detached, okay? You're, you were in it to offer this person something stable, something concrete. This person out here hasn't reached that level is what I'm getting here. Hence, they didn't put in the work that you put in out here. Okay, it was a one-sided situation is what I'm getting. Hmm. I think you waited for this person forever. Okay, you waited for this person, you waited for this person to come towards you correctly, you waited for this person probably, um, you know, to solve the obstacles that were there between your both. Long distance relationship is what I'm seeing for a lot of you, okay, and um, I feel you waited for a very long time patiently. You made a decision to wait for this person is what I'm getting, you know, you had a choice to walk away the moment this person left, but you still chose to wait for them okay you were ready to overcome any obstacles i think you were very optimistic all this while now that this person has wait you wait made you wait forever right i feel now you're in that pessimistic mode too many obstacles between you both and you just think you can't fight this anymore this person probably sees either they see you as giving up or they see they, they feel that you're not you, see that's what's happening you're giving up and this person probably even feels that you're giving up they feel like this is a waste of time you know if this person is coming back but the problem here is they feel probably it's going to be a waste of time because you've already given up on them you know sometimes you don't have to tell a person that you're giving up on them they can just energetically feel it you know that you're walking away or you're, it's just like no point investing into you anymore but um this person probably is also someone here who thinks that you are impatient. You could come off as impatient to them. This person could also be wanting things to move very, very quickly in your relationship or you take it vice versa, however it resonates. But that is the sense of, sense of disappointment, the sense of, you know, like that was a waste of time, that didn't work out, things didn't come into fruition, okay? But waiting, the waiting period is a lot out here in this connection out here. Both of y'all need to wait. This person is being impatient and restless. You're someone else also being impatient and you probably just feel it's never going to work out. Yeah. Now you're pretty hurt, you know. You're pretty hurt by this person out here. I feel you're very, very blocked. You know, you're engulfed in this um, toxic emotions of resentment and hatred is what I'm getting here. I think you are blocked on all levels by your emotions and I think you find it very hard to concentrate on this connection anymore. You could be really stressed, you know, I think you have no energy to stay connected to yourself or to anyone else right now, okay? And uh, you could be feeling very drained and like very tired, etc. But what is happening here is that you probably are afraid of the truth. Now again, this could be your person, so take it how it resonates, okay? This could be a person also, like I said, you can switch the sides. If this is your person on this side here, then this is someone here who's afraid of the, of the truth, okay? That they really love you and they want to open up to you. And what happens is that they try to run away from it, they're afraid of the truth. So often that turns into lies and manipulation, okay? This person feels really lonely and abandoned, okay? 
like they just wonder i mean are they even worth love so yeah yeah okay so now this is definitely you and this is the person you're dealing with okay now you can take it how it resonates but i think this is how it is you're the one who probably can't walk away from this person but you know somewhere somehow this is a disappointment here now you're trying to walk away okay this is telling me that where there's this transition going on okay you could have been uh trying to wait for this person okay but things didn't work out and it's like you're getting like no choice but to move on from this connection move on from this relationship if not at least have a physical and mental distance between you both okay that's what you're doing you're creating that distance between you both you could even be traveling okay this person out here is not being able to offer you love i'll tell you the root cause out here is that they lack forgiveness okay this person feels very depressed okay they lack that appreciation they appreciate the little things in their life okay and i feel the problem here is this person needs to learn to forgive someone someone could have fucked them over in the past because of which they're not being able to open up so they still have been and they're still unhealed and they're jumping into a connection unhealed you see so even if there's potential in this relationship this is what you have to go through see how much you've invested into this connection and now you're like you know what never mind that's just not going to work out you are invested into this at the same time you still want to walk away but again i feel your anyways going to do it mentally i think you have the clarity and you want to move on was this person out here probably is uh, just you know in a very negative mindset is what i'd say yeah see they're isolating themselves this person's completely isolating themselves i feel this person needs space this person needs that time off okay this person loves you to the moon and back but when it comes to telling you right i think it's some kind of fear that's holding them back from opening up here queen of swords yeah you're in that mode of being very very you know you could be having a lot of high expectations from this person not for every one of you but for a lot of you uh but uh, because look the kind of person that you're dealing with right i'm not saying overall in general you are like this i'm saying but from this connection this person at least knowing how this person is in a very depressive state where they find it really hard to open up to someone i think you're expecting too much from them like no talk to me the way i want you to or talk to me message me open up about your feelings you know be vulnerable i think it's expecting too much from them they're not going to open up see they've completely isolated themselves probably you push them a little more you've constantly messaged them or whatever it is right messaging calling whatever it's pushed them back into their tunnel all right they're back into the rabbit hole queen of swords is telling me that you have a lot of love for them okay but right now you're just choosing to wear a false mask is what i'd say okay but uh, this is someone being very cold very detached very harsh just watch your words okay words thoughts whatever it is it's good to be direct but just see to it that you're not mean to someone or you're not cruel to someone especially when you don't know where they're coming from okay work or other people's opinions could also be an issue between you both okay i'm getting a lot of threes here from this person could be a third party situation i'm not seeing so much of a romantic situation but the third party could be their past memories or their ex or their past person who really did a lot of damage to them okay let's see what action this person is going to take towards you wow what action you are going to take wow you're moving on you're moving on guys this person refuses to open up this person refuses to say anything to you okay and that is one of the biggest reasons why you don't want to wait anymore you're dealing with someone very very immature okay very immature person out here this person does not want to be vulnerable you know this person you know uh they want to avoid responsibility so you know they're feeling very low emotionally is what i'd say here okay they want to send you a romantic message this person is very very emotional you know it's like someone who's a kid out here okay but this is someone here you know who is hard to motivate okay they're very sad and you know uh it's like that very gloomy nature that they are in right now i think this person out here is also someone who might have promised you a lot but they don't deliver okay and uh, they tend to manipulate you know to get what they want but i feel overall this person feels very very low emotionally and they have a lot of difficulty communicating their feelings okay so for right now they're shut off they're not opening up emotionally although they want to they would love to you babe you're out okay six of wands here you're moving forward very very um, i wouldn't say arrogantly but you have that self confidence self esteem and you're like you know what i know what i'm worth and i need to move on okay and you're doing that but i like the way you're moving on is because i don't think you have a grudge against them although you're moving on with a heavy heart it's like like i said before right you have no choice but to move on because you're looking for peace harmony stability security commitment this person out here is not even ready to open up emotionally okay so it's like you know what i don't have a choice i've just got to do what i got to do the outcome out here is yeah so i feel this person out here uh is daydreaming about you 
they have a lot on their mind when it comes to you. This person is very confused. That's what the problem is out here. A lot of procrastination on their mind. So till this person doesn't make a choice about what they want to do, whether they want to move forward with you, whether they want to completely move on, even if they want to come towards you, what's the right approach towards you? What do they want with you? What are their true intentions, etc.? They won't do it because the procrastination is there and that's there because with the five of swords here, they don't trust you. Okay, what's the five of swords? See, this person is wanting to manifest you, you know. They want to manifest you. They see you walking away. But I think somewhere, somehow, I feel this person will still want to fight for this connection. They may be shut off, but eventually they'll open up. Because see, they're daydreaming about you, right? It's only about time till the time they make a choice and they choose to come towards you, okay, and take action. Like, you know what? You're the one I want. I know and they for sure know you're the one they want. It's just that they're, they're emotionally blocked. So they know you're the one that they want. It's just going to be some time till they come towards you and let you know that you're the one that they want and they're no more wanting to sabotage the connection and they want to move forward with you. Okay. So that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. Do leave your comments below and love to hear from you. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.